Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ultimate um, Ultimate General American Revolution. So, I load the save, and we immediately have enough for some muskets. I will accept those. Um, and we have quite a bit to do. In the last episode, we captured Fort Montgomery. In today's episode, we are going to prepare an attack on Fort Saratoga. And to do that, we're gonna get some troops and such ready. And we're going to sell a bunch of stuff for money. I am poor. Uh, yeah. Let's do. You're going there, correct? Right. Make some money. So, we're gonna sell some stuff that we can kind of afford. More ammunition than I would like. And all the horses. And all the coal. And all the and all the construction materials. And all cannon, naval cannons. We can't use them right now anyway, since we have no navy. Partly because I just sold it all. And let's see, you are missing musket. Missing brown best 69, okay. Let's replace you. Spanish 55. Place you with Charles Will. Okay. You are All Spanish 55, so we're going to buy a bunch of Spanish 55. Wow. Um. Pricey, okay. Let's see what the next turn brings us. A lot of troops. What are you missed? What could we buy? Brown by 69. Round best of time, apply. Let's move on, however. Move on to try and capture Fort Saratoga. We're just going to go full on against them. Take a quick look at Fort Rice. How is Fort Rice looking? Over the mountain. 760. And okay, that's more than I would like to engage with. Hope our troops can move quickly. Arid moving towards Albany. Uh, okay, let's see, New Hampshire, 
money. And um, we are going to send a message to Spain. We request one ammunition. Uh, sure. Montgomery, right? We need that. Marching that way. Oh. Uh, in Connecticut. I'll take the money. Oh, Garrison. Let's prepare for an offensive. Fort Saratoga. 1200 troops. What does Tikendaroga have right now? Probably, uh, yeah, not good. Oh, we're gonna lose Middleborough. British reinforcements. That's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Hey. Um Let's go for attack. Let's see, Middleborough. Gonna, we're gonna lose that next, the next little bit. Let's see if we can get uh, Fort Saratoga. I'm too fractured. That's my problem. I need more. Consolidate my territories. Anyways. Let's, oops, I didn't mean to move you. Let's move our troops. Around a bit. Be able to conduct a battle. Cannon are going to be problematic. I saw they had quite a bit. So they have two big batteries here. I want to see if an attack from the north might be... Maybe for whatever reason, they're weaker north. Or back here, it seems quite solid, judging by the amount of cannons they have. Right, they are not, they don't have fixed firing angles. Skirmishers. Okay. Could potentially take advantage of that. Move you further back. Skirmishers, skirmishers. Not full strength. One unit of cannon, one unit of cannon. That's not good.
Let's make a consolidated attack on their skirmishers. Just start breaking them down. Five. Okay. I see a couple of holes. We could exploit those holes. Just with mass firepower. They have the advantage of the fortifications though, but we have twice the numbers if we can just break them. So we'll try to break the north northwest. Gonna come at great cost. That's definitely for sure. Actually keep the army here. Let's have you attack that weak group. All we need is one breakthrough. And I have to be careful. I don't have a lot to lose. We're gonna lose muscle bar. So that's already going to put a big dent in my war chest. I sold off everything we have to be able to afford this offensive. Skirmishers have lost half the troops. Hopefully break them, attack these skirmishers, and then cross the walls here. Definitely wish we had some cannon. I think that's one mistake that has been made. Uh, one mistake. Yep. Okay. Time to attack. was a grave mistake. Charge into them. Take the opportunity to grab food. Okay. Just start fighting. Captain Basil Coker, that's not good. Um, 
they're just skirmishers, just charge them. Mind. They march on. Help our brothers in arms. Hey. Gathering units is good. Um, our unit shattering is not good, however. Let's provide some support. Melee fights that is currently occurring. Okay, they're routing. Not great. Let's keep on pushing. Take care of their cannon. Artillery battery has shattered, that's good. Charge into them, get rid of the cannon. Provide some support. If we can capture those cannon. Okay, we've captured the port. Skirmishers are being a pain in the ass, that's for sure. Okay, they're routing. Okay, they surrendered. Good. Seems that victory today will be ours. Okay, they're making a run for it. Get as many of them as possible in the process, though. This is where cavalry would have been nice. Okay, let's head back to global map. We lost a bit less than what they did. Which is still more than I would have liked, but... Eh. It is what it is. Middleborough is not sieged anymore? Oh wait, Middleborough is. Let's order them all to attack. There we go. And Harrod there. 
Let's send round. This is where I would have liked some another general. But wait, we have a global project. Yeah, okay. It can only go to our Lord and Savior thing. That's annoying. Capture some cannon, right? Yeah. Take this opportunity to sell some. Our funds going. And million to Albany. Uh, where is it? Uh, in Connecticut, we can afford it. Fort Saratoga is captured. As the sun rose over the American countryside, we launched a surprise attack on the Saratoga fort. Elements of surprise on their sides, they captured a well stocked armory containing ammunition uniforms. Okay. That's four pound. You are gonna lose. Um, yeah, I just hope they don't move further. Because if they do, we have a problem. I mean, losing Middleborough is already going to be significant. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, um, you two. Here. I do need to capture Fort. And the Roga, though. That, that is, without a doubt, a requirement considering it is one of my missions. International changes. Report. Okay, sure. Let's take a quick look at Fort Frederick. And actually, Hubberton. Hubberton has no one in it. Okay, uh, you. I'm gonna capture it. Fort Frederick. That's a lot of, a lot of truth. Still haven't lost Middleborough. That is impressive. But it is only a matter of time. I don't have enough money. Do not have anything really well. do it all hurts me very much and we're going to ra raise funds just spending some
hundred like what four thousand troops that they have? That's not that's not fair. That's not at all fair. Of musket. Somehow we still haven't lost Middleborough. Surely we have lost it by now. Surely. No? Oh, that's a miracle. Okay, garrison here. Um, researching that. Let's buy. Not buy. Twelve hundred. They are going to have cannon. Okay, let's get you out. Get you out, let's get you out. Let's march everything we have south. March it north. We'll buy a few civilian muskets. Let's leave Davis in Bennington, just as a little safeguard, as it were. We are going to go for the offensive. We are going to go straight into Fort Kinderoga. Arid march into Bennington. Olive branch, okay. Uh, okay. We are still traders. No. Ah, Arid. Fine. Let's take a look at the loyalty map. I saw a notification. That I accidentally clicked away. Yeah, we have negative loyalty here. That's fine. That is fine. How many troops? Okay. That is a significant army. And we shall march into Fort Ikonderia. Um Let's do equipment PT now. They are sending a significant force somewhere. 
take a quick look. Um. Oh, nice. I, I will take more money. I, I have made my choice. This army of almost 3,000 troops for capturing Fort Ticadoria, and then we are counterattacking Spicer. We will do that next episode. Until then, I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and all that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!